Show, starring the Tweetings, Sammy, Spencer, Jeff, and Susie. Musical guest, the Tweetings, brought to you by the Tweetings. Now, here's the Tweetings. have to say a couple things. A, I forgot how to do the Tweety Show because each minute is an hour now. I mean, each minute is a year, so I feel like it's been like five years since we've had a show. It has been. And, hi Appleton Dave. And, um. I start yawning the second the show starts. I'm so sorry. So. Also, uh, we have a special guest in our A-L-E-X-A. Hi Dad! Hi there. <laughs> My dad's listening through it's our A L E X A tonight. It's Pedro Bot. <laughs> Can you hear good dad? Perfect. It's like I'm in the room with you. Okay. D- dad Bye. Bo- dad Bot 2020. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi. Hi. Oh, wait. Am I hearing us on his thing? I need to turn it down. Yeah, that would be. You get some massive feedback. Yeah. Everybody's saying hi Make sure to you. you can still hear. What? You still here, Peter? <laughs> okay, good. All right. All right. Hi, Danny. Hi, F and Charlesies. Hi, Kendall. Hi, Bruce, if you're watching, but I be- hope you're not watching. I hope you're sleeping because Bruce has to be a- an election judge at oh, 4 a.m. AKA a hero. AKA yes. a hero. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Brucey. Even though you should be asleep. Hi, Austin. Hi, Marv. Have you seen mm-hmm. Austin's new dog, Marv? No. <gasps> and, so cute. And Seema got Marv's sister, right? Sister? Yes. I can't. I'm jealous. I want a monkey. I want a monkey, too. Can we get a monkey? Yeah. Really? It's illegal, you dimwit. No, it's not. Hi, Ellen. Like, you Dad, can... Ellen says hi. Hey, hi, Ellen. Hi, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... There are, you can get a permit to have a monkey. You just have to What's have, a permit? You mean a permit? It's a permit. It's a permit. You say tomato, <laughs> I say permit. Hi, Marv. Who's a bad boy? Marv is watching. Happy birthday, Nicole. <laughs> happy birthday, Nicole. We wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Yes, we did. And what else do you want to say? Um, you mean... To Nicole or uh, no. to Well, first of all, I want to tell everyone that there is an incredible uh, compilation of fan versions, fan recorded versions of my songs on Bandcamp. I don't know what is it called something. Yeah, what's it called, Spence? Um, is it called just a fan or something? It's called. There's seventy songs. Am I right? It's quite cool. amazing, and all of the money is going, what, Jeff, to... It's going it's to... called Just a Fan. Just a just Fan. Just a Fan. How do Sybil. they find it? It's on Bandcamp. Bandcamp, Just a Fan. And uh, Jeff Knurk did the artwork for... Oh, God, I can't with that artwork. And, and everybody... I only, I haven't had a chance to hear the whole thing, because it's 70 songs. It's a lot of songs, but Whoa. we listened at lunch the other day to about... 20 of them Mm -hmm. and they all made me cry i don't think any my songs don't ever affect me the same way as they do when other people sing them yeah and thank you so much i am incredibly touched there's nothing that makes me feel better in the world than than hearing people sing my songs and um i'm verklempt thinking about it yeah, it's really beautiful. What a beautiful thing they did. And so, Thank you. So, and you there's guys. so many really, really lovely versions, and they're all so heartfelt and, and genuine. And 
um, only a few of them sound like you're trying to make fun of me, which is cool. <laughs> what? None no, of them kidding. sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would be. I would be trying. Some of my songs are, are my own attempts to make fun of myself. That's for sure. That's serious. And thank you to the guy who put the whole thing together. Um, Jim? Is his name Jim Laskowski? Jim? Is it Bob's Les- brother? No. What's his name? Spencer? Yeah, you got it right. Laskowski? Well, I think that's, that's Bob's last name. Yeah. Different it's, spelling. It's spelled differently. Mm-hmm. Thank you, you guys, really. And thank you. And everybody, all of the clients, every single client, I think, should go and... As, as much as they're able to support the cause that it's for, because mm-hmm. it is for uh, saving our live music, our small live mu- music venues. Yes. All over the country. All over the country. And it's, uh, it's already raised some money for that, and that would be wonderful to see it get a big boost yeah, from amazing. Our, our friends on, and our clients. I didn't mean friends. You're just clients. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to... Breach our professional protocol. Thank you, everyone who's on it. Thank you, everyone who goes and donates and gets it. And thank you, Jim Laskowski. It's really, really amazing. And Jeff Knurik. And speaking of Jeff Knurik, sending our all of our healing thoughts to your daughter. Mm-hmm. Fucking Trump. Oops. Did Jeff ask us to do the Misha Barak for his daughter? I haven't heard. Who sent me that message? Oh, Danny did. Okay. Yeah, my dad is silently listening on our A-L-E-X-A. Hi, Dad. Hi there. (laughs) I had to turn his volume down so we don't get feedback, but he's in there. (laughs) He's in there. Everyone's saying hi to you, Dad. Pedro says hi to everyone. I don't... So everybody... What's... Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, where's Una? But then she just showed up. Hmm. Poor Una. Why? Because she's having night before election anxiety. Who isn't? We all are. Why are you Jack benny your face? I always do. I know. Well, here's the thing. I'm, everybody's anxious. Everybody has a lot of anxiety about this. Yeah. And the thing I've been telling myself to rem- to kind of recenter myself is... One thing is not disputable about what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't think anybody argues with the fact that Donald Trump is going to lose the popular vote by millions and millions of votes Mm -hmm. at the very least. And that's, uh, that's that's a bitter consolation when you think about how unfair it is for, you know, a democracy but it should be reassur- reassuring and re- reaffirming that we're not alone and that we're just going to have to work harder if the if the worst case scenario happens tomorrow. Bite we're your have tongue. All of the millions and millions of people that are showing up tomorrow to vote him out are going to have to keep showing up. Yeah. And I I feel, you know, we do we that's the country we live in. We live in a country with a weird arcane system of uh, electric, electing a president. So stupid. But we live in a country that is is overwhelmingly going to vote against this guy. So that's something we shouldn't lose sight of. We should get rid of the Electoral College and Daylight Savings Time. Absolutely. <laughs> They're both so destroying dumb. lives. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> oh, so, I mean, and if the... If the Democrats lose, but they win the popular vote, they'll be the seventh time out of the last eight elections. Bite your tongue, Andrew Weiner. We're not going to lose. I don't think we're going to lose. I really don't. Don't even I... say it. God. I'm wearing. I'm superstitious. I'm wearing my Joe shirt. Yes. <laughs> Just says O E on the part you can see. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's just. Uh, it's unbearable, though. I have to. I admit, it's just the worst. What do you mean, believe in daylight savings, Una? Does Jeff believe in daylight savings? We believe it's dumb. I. It, to be honest, it doesn't really affect. I me think that... I'm confusing Una because we argue about this every year. She said, Una and Sheba say that it affects them. They're so messed up for like weeks, 
and me and Danny are like, are you insane? It's one hour. Get over it. So it doesn't affect me in that way, Una, but I just think it's dumb. Well. And I don't like when it gets darker earlier. Of course. That's, it doesn't affect me nearly as much uh, since we don't take take the kids to school and pick them up from Mm. school. Oh, that's so true. Because that used to be so depressing to be on, on the Kennedy and yeah. and it's dark already and you're just on your way home from school. Yeah. Right, but that's a superficial thing. It's like yucky and annoying, but Una and Sheba are like it messes me up for weeks. Why? Just let them have it. I do let them have it. <laughs> let them have their sadness. It's no no skin off your wiener. Bung. Yo, Spencer and Sammy coming right out of your mouth. <laughs> They've I think that they've done way more to shape who I am than I've done to shape who they are. <laughs> you have started joining us in our Bung and Ween song. It's but hard not to, Spencer, it's, it's, for God's sake. It's 24 years of Conditioning. being beaten down. <laughs> oh, maybe that's a good point, Una. She said, because we sleep and you don't, to me, because I never sleep. Yes, I do. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I, like a lot of people, check uh, 538 fairly often on my phone. What do you mean by fairly often? Every 60 seconds? Sort of. Mm -hmm. Uh, 538, Nate Silver's, you know, website where he does a probabilistic, you know, model of what's going to happen in the election. Anyway, I got up at, I woke up at five this morning and against my better judgment, I immediately looked at my phone. To see mm-hmm. what five thirty eight was saying, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and at five o'clock this morning, it said Donald Trump is very likely to win what? the election, and it was entirely red. I don't it. it I swear to God, mm-hmm. fuck five thirty eight. No, no, it was it was they were recalibrating it because it had reached the end of the model, so oh my I God. just happened to catch it at the worst possible time so i was wide awake oh my god (laughs) it was a flashback to the fucking needle the needle god the needle and now why did you even say that out loud also may i say that this is the worst week ever invented in history to be on steroids oh yeah by the way this show has an (laughs) asterisk next to it what that I'm on steroids? Because if it, be, it ends, if it ends up being one of the greatest Instagram lives of all time, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, if it does, and it and you get nominated for like an award or something, they're gonna have to disclose that you were on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah, sure, it was a great show, but Susie was juiced. <laughs> I've told that joke many, many times about when I had a throat. A, I'm one of the only times I've been on tour that I've ever lost. Oh, great. My... We're giving people anxiety now. Are nice. we? Well, just with the story of the recalibrating. Part oh yeah, that was yeah, not good. Terrible. A good way to wake up, but it was like only for a minute or something. <laughs> and I was like, surely there's something wrong because the entire snake was red. And stop talking about yucky poopy. What was your steroid story? I lost my voice on tour one time. That's like one of the only. I think the only time. And to get to to play the show, they came and gave me a steroid a shot? shot. Yeah, One in my shot. I think in my throat. Ooh. No, they, d- Jeff, are you insane? I they did. They did not give you a shot in yes, your throat. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Was this in the bad altered days? No. Well, like I don't think they gave ago. you a shot in your throat. That's so hate. My dad probably just fainted. Dad, are you okay? Okay. <laughs> it was a it was a needle the size of a Don't uh, talk about it. Seriously, my dad will pass out. Let's change the subject. Ask is there a doctor here? Does that happen? Do of they... course there's a doctor here. Half of your clientele are doctors. Does anyone know if you get a, sh- a steroid shot in your th- There's no way. Jeff. Okay, maybe they just gave me a shot of steroids, but it was for Why my throat. You- Listen to him, Spencer. Like, how can we ever believe anything he says? He thinks he got a shot in his throat, and then he's like, okay, maybe it wasn't my throat. I I feel like I did. Wait, what? Is it in the Ashes of American Flag documentary? I think it might be. 
Shut up, Liam. I Hi, think, Liam. That would be a lot longer than five years ago. I, Casey's asking for no needle talk, and I agree. Okay. Yeah, that would be like 12 years ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kathy Kinnerick got steroid shots in her eardrums. I can't. Let's Ugh. change the topic. Yeah, let's. Zane I'm going to shave shot. tonight. Whoa. You're shaving tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's a good night to do it. <laughs> so you'll be clean shaven for the new president. <laughs> for the new world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it would only change that fast, that would be great. Yeah, I just can't believe that if you got a shot in your throat, you wouldn't remember it. Although, I must say... Why would you remember it? You'd black it out. I must say that I was at the doctor once and... This was a while ago, and she asked me when my last mammogram was, and I said, I've never had a mammogram. And then she looked at my record, and she's like, you had one two years ago. I'm like, what? Yeah. How could I not remember my boobs being smashed to smithereens between two plates? <laughs> I have nothing. Uh... I have nothing to say. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. You're right. The discussion about candy was better. Let's stop talking about shots um, and stuff. So, um... Stop Jack Bennying your face. I did get a shot in my butt. Yes, that I do remember. Because you were allergic to the sun. I was, no, I have had several mammograms, Una. It turns out I'm allergic to the sun. No, you're not. Well, when I drink virgin pina coladas. Yeah, it was all of the citrus, <laughs> citrus in a reaction to reaction. the sun. It became hypo, hypo, hyper, hyposolaric. <laughs> and um, it was because... We were on vacation, and the kids could go to the bar and get, they were little kids, Spencer and Sammy were little, so they could go to the bar by themselves and get virgin pina, pina coladas. <laughs> and so every time they would go get one, they would get me one. And so I drank more pineapple juice than I've ever drank in my life. Mm -hmm. And I was in the sun all day, and I turned <laughs> into a giant rash, a full body rash. Do you remember it that? It wasn't the sunburn. It was uh, an actual chemical reaction. It was, it was because the sun activated something in my body that was reacting to citrus. And then you got a shot in your tushy and I took On a picture. On New Year's Day. <gasps> Should we auction off a viewing of the picture of you getting a shot in your ass? Yeah, just for like a <laughs> private Zoom meeting. Just like <laughs> 10 people at a time. And Debbie said polymorphous sunlight eruption. Huh. Is the name of the condition. Does no, she Danny, get it too? That was a different trip. Aunt Debbie gets it too? She didn't say that. Do you get it too, Debbie? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hello. I've Polymorphous had, Sunlight I've... Eruption is my new band name. Yeah. <laughs> remember, I had a reaction to the sun too. Remember, my mm. eyes swelled shut and my eyebrows were like above my head. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, the doctor came to the... Yeah, room and he, he made a shot made a place. house call on New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. Gave me a shot in my butt and an ointment for fifty dollars <laughs> total. Total fifty dollars. No, it was less than fifty, I think. No, it was total with the tube of the ointment that he Stop gave me. Stop saying ointment. It was a salve. Stop saying salve. <laughs> <laughs> salve. It was a lotion. <laughs> You know the show's literally over. I'm you not gonna done play any song? music tonight. Music's probably. overrated. Sort of. Just kidding. Danny was the combination of pineapple yeah. and sun. Yeah. Hi, yes. Sylvia. Oh God, is that the trip where you were there too, Sylvia? Sylvia said she remembers. Sylvia's Sylvia's a doctor. Yes, she is. Yeah. She's a vagina doctor. You ever give anybody a steroid shot in the in the hoo ha? <laughs> Just asking. God. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> juice pineapple and, is not citrus. Uh, like steroid, like a roided out vagina. We're being corrected <laughs> that pineapple is not citrus. Oh well, whatever's in acid, the acid in it. Yeah. That what's man? Who knows? We don't know what we're talking about. Don't listen to us. Well, initially they thought I had like been swimming in sewage or something. <laughs> Remember that? No. <laughs> They're like, where did where did you swim? I'm like, where everybody else is swimming. <laughs> I just got here. Did Jeff get a prostate exam? All I heard was ointment. <laughs> <laughs> no, my steroid. Yes, by mouth, by pill. Ster Susie is 
jacked. I so am not jacked. I just don't get why I have to take two at bedtime. That seems so wrong. Oh, god dang it. Hello. I missed your Hello. entrance. That's fine. Is that? <clears throat> oh. Hello. So we, we get right to work when Sammy shows up. Mm. Sammy's like our our parent. Mm. Are we gonna do the Misha Barak for Sid Kunarik? I'm trying to That's for everyone. I think we all need healing tonight, but and, um, especially for Austria, especially Austria. for Sid Knurik and mm -hmm. Puedo and brain surgery guy and Austria and, and America, Austria and, and everyone, the world. We all. Zaid said, "Beautiful, mm -hmm. Sammy." Oh, thank you, Zaid. Oh, did Zaid speak? Are you crying, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> People here. Thank you, Zaid. <laughs> Say it again, Peter. Say it Sammy. again, Dad. <laughs> Sammy, that was absolutely beautiful. Oh God, you That's could. Always. Yes, Thank you, Zaid. you could see all the dust on our Alexa. And also uh, for Hannah Little and her mom. Aww. And also, I would like to specifically dedicated to everybody in every country that's struggling with autocrats and fascists and it's happening in so many places and we're just in this together thank you and Hi, <laughs> for everybody that is going to be standing in a long line tomorrow waiting to vote and we want to <clears throat> offer them strength to I don't know that and the healing energy of the song to the to democracy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to please. Lady Liberty. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> what a what a crappy time, but it's all gonna change. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm I, hopeful. I can't help Very it. Very hopeful. <clears throat> oh. What's wrong? Just go. Wait. There's a new brain surgery guy, but that was for you too, brain surgery guy. What's, you mean somebody that's having brain surgery? I guess so. He just said, I'm brain surgery guy, so don't yell at me for calling him okay, brain surgery guy. Okay, that's good. I'm going to, I was going to yell, was I saying, was gonna yell at you for that. Everyone was saying, good luck brain <laughs> surgery guy. <laughs> All right, what's happening? Nothing, we're just still hanging out. Um, should I sing a song? Does anybody have an idea of what song I should sing? Something about... <clears throat> oh, I know one I would like to sing. Okay. Say 
is it for me when the world falls apart I can say the certainty there's a reason a light left on in an empty room is how love can be a rainbow days who needs me now save it for me when the world falls apart I can say the certainty there's a reason left out that you can't consume so sweet you cannot eat No one will call today The people you lean on Don't always know What to say Save it for me When the world falls apart I can say with certainty There's a reason A light left on in an empty room It's how a love can be It's all a love can be It's all a love can be It's all a love can be Beautiful, guys. Thank you. Happy 18th birthday, 18th birthday kid who was on here. <laughs> I didn't see your name. Maybe we had to maybe get a little bit more inventive with our names, people. <laughs> Sammy, Jonah's mommy and daddy are on here. Hello. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm guitar guy. Hey, guitar guy. I'm drum guy. I'm, I'm computers. <laughs> um, That's on the Kroll show. Yeah. And that oh character, my god, like, I miss computers. that show. What? I miss that show. Me too. Uh, I miss Nick Kroll too. Yeah. We haven't had our our normal yeah, run, like bumping into him in somewhere thing happen mm -hmm. in a long time. Not to name drop or anything. But yeah, really, Jeff. We know him. What else is a good song for Trump's last night as president? Gus said Eminem right now where the autocrats win. <laughs> <laughs> Satan, uh, your kingdom must come down. That's a good one. <clears throat> Why did Danny just say, mmm, onion dip? Are you having an episode, Danny? <laughs> Why did everyone just leave the couch? I don't know what's happening. I let, let things hang out. Let it all hang out. <sighs> Nothing's embarrassing anymore. Nope. Wait, what? Not when you're fighting. What? Okay. Not when you're fighting fascists. <laughs> uh, is this a fighting fascist song? <laughs> <laughs> Everything you ever wanted.
Would you capture it? Or just let it slip? His palms are sweaty, he's weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop. That was a meow isn't it, isn't it a bridged version? <laughs> <laughs> I was I did my guitar too quiet. Should, Should I reveal? Ah! Sorry. Should I reveal my yeah. secret? That every Eminem song makes me cry. Every single one of them. <laughs> Mom is because they're all so fucking good. <laughs> they are good. You th- were dancing, Mom. I think Gus uh. commented. He said, "White boy goes crazy." <laughs> <laughs> I, See, I mean, it was great. I needed more, like, Sonic cover. What? I thought it sounded great. Okay. It was great. And <laughs> need I remind you, I'm mean, was white. <laughs> <laughs> you still with us, Dad? We... What? I hear it. You good? Yeah, I hear it fine. I was waiting for Michael Jackson to come out with that last song. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe he'll show up. <laughs> um, one time I rapped all of Stan by Eminem for Zayd and Mary You Linda. did? Yes, I did. At their ki- in their kitchen. You must have been the dining like room. Five. I was nine. That's you guys funny. let me do it. Hi, Diana. You Why shouldn't we? have. Why wouldn't it's Why? Because, Sammy. well, okay, I've recently stopped cringing about it. Okay. You have nothing to cringe about. <laughs> Why would you? It um, was an embarrassing memory. But you know, no, it's there funny. are a lot of people on their deathbeds that, that have thoughts like that. Where you're like, God, I wish I hadn't rapped Stan to my grandparents when I was nine. <laughs> Someone, oh. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. It's That's beautiful. Of, That's beautiful. It's part of becoming an adult. Is That's realizing fucking that beautiful. That shit embarrassing. What's oh, it? Una just brought up the video, the very many <clears throat> videos we have of you singing All Star. Hey now, you're an all star. Now that on the other end. Go play. (laughs) Oh, see, I mean, now I'm gonna start bawling my ball sack off. Yeah, those videos are so cute. Yeah, you might have to. um, Shut up. Those are adorable. I've never been embarrassed for one second about that. Well, that's good. You know, your father was in an Apple commercial with the lead singer from uh, Smash Mouth. So what? Jeff, be nice. I was. That's amazing. Mom, they caused a super spreader event. They did? I, yeah, they did. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Just so you know, it's 9.37. Just letting you know. But yeah, Sammy was like a toddler when he sang that. I have so many videos of you singing it's that, so Sammy. so cute. You were literally <laughs> the cutest thing that ever lived. So were you, Spencer. Thanks. <laughs>
Mission of Burma Academy fight song. So good. So good. Look, I found my fidget spinner. Oh! <gasps> You're joking! M&M fidget spinners? Sammy! Yeah. I thought you lost that in high school. Setting the clock back like the last four <laughs> years never happened. I, I lost I the other one. one. I lost oh. the other one, yes. Okay. Oh, you're getting lots and lots of clap emojis. Thanks, guys. Why, <laughs> wait, am I not getting any clap emojis? They're all for all of you. 33 and the third. Wait. Move. You're in my seat, Percent boy. Percent each. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my God. <sighs> well, that's the... Uh, those are the numbers Sammy, we have prepared no. for this evening. Put that away. Thank you. <laughs> That's can. it? Those are all the numbers you you know? Yep. Peter has been around for a fairly long time. Do you have any advice for people that are feeling anxious tonight, Peter? Well, I think by listening to some good music that you provide, that is a great catalyst. That's a great uh, bit of relaxation that one can enjoy mm -hmm. good good plan good idea good advice jesus yep thanks dad we love You're you welcome. i think listening to good music uh like from wilco is a very very <laughs> relaxing and pleasant experience to have wilco jeff tweedy and man of la mancha <laughs> and man <laughs> and man of la mancha no in that order <laughs> That's and, right, the drink. And Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, we should do something from Fiddler on the Roof sometime. <clears throat> yeah, you I've should do something it. from Fiddler on what? the Roof. What? I've never seen it either. Shut the... F what? Are you fucking kidding me? What is wrong I, with you two? My profile picture was from it, though, of the guy tearing the swastika. Guys, <laughs> I've definitely, definitely played Fiddler on the Roof for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you were too... All right. I've never That's seen probably, it. I probably ran out of the room because it was a musical. I've never seen it. Well, I know what we're doing tonight. Yeah. That would be a pretty... You're right, one and a half stars. Pedro tonight. should do voiceover work. He has the most amazing voice. Mm. Oi, Sunrise Sunset makes me cry my ball sack off. Sunrise. Is sunset. this the little girl, boy or girl, who I carry? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <sighs> we were going to do Hit the Road Jack, but Sammy doesn't. Feel it. You could do it. I don't really. Why don't you play? I don't feel it. 
Goodbye, you stupid fucking dickwad. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody motherfucking nice. asshole. Ooh. Uh, oh, I would, we'd have to learn Daddy, that. Ma. Isn't it like three chords? Oh, my God, Danny. Dad sang that at your wedding? Well, how am I even alive? That would have killed me. He sang that song. Sunrise, Sunset. It's oh. Un- oh, my God. I must have blocked it out because it was... That's too much. Whew. It's about her dad, though. I know. <laughs> it's a great song. Hit um, the road, Jack. Satan, your kingdom must come down. What else could work? Play something uplifting, someone said. You say you want a revolution. kingdom must come down I heard the voice of Jesus say Satan your kingdom must come down I'm gonna pray until they tear your kingdom down Pray until they tear your kingdom down I heard the voice of Jesus say Satan, your kingdom must come down Shout until they tear That sounds like you're making fun of me. I'm not at all. That's very rough. Someone said Patti Smith sang on the streets of New York today. People got the power. People got the power. That's awesome. Patti Smith. Patti Smith. Patti Smith. Patti Smith. Do you know what that is? Is it me at Patti Smith? It's you as a toddler at a Patti Smith show we took you to. (laughs) When I was opening for Patti Smith. You were on the bill. I don't even remember that yeah. part. Yeah, that's there's a picture of me on Dad's shoulders on stage from that show. And you oh. were like two, and you're I was in the box with you, and you kept going, Patty Smith, <laughs> Patty Smith. And I I m- met her, and I had a book of her poetry that I wanted her to sign, and I said, I'm a huge fan. I have this book of poetry. Do you mind signing it? I'm opening up for you tonight. And she said, And who's this? And she pointed to you, and. Really? And you said you haven't introduced me to your wife. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, this is my wife, Susie. And then you, she wouldn't even look at me after that. She said, Fred used to do that to me, too. Aww. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Don't you remember that? Vaguely. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. She, sham- she shamed me. She should have. Not for the last time. <laughs> I was so nervous, though. I mean, what I mean... I was just trying to yeah. get my book signed. I'm having a personal reaction to seeing a hero. Yeah. Well, but it's not like it's the only time he's neglected to introduce me to someone. Let's be real. That's true. Yeah. But I'm pretty good about it most of the time because. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I am actually. I do. Well, you're better now than <clears throat> you used to be. Well, who isn't? Uh, Lots Trump? of people. <laughs> mm. uh, oops. We had a pretty good streak of not saying 
that name very have, often. Yeah, we do. Election Eve is like a reason. Yeah, Election Eve is exempt from that desire of ours. Voldemort. <laughs> <sighs> um, Hi. Hello. Hi, Spencer. Hi. You're my best friend. I have another Hi, story Jimmy. about Hi. Patty Smith. One time I was asked if um, I was playing at a benefit with her. It was a small benefit for, oh, I forgot what charity it was for, but we were both on the bill and somebody that told, I was, they told me, Patty might want you to, to accompany her and help her um, but we play, you know, play guitar for her to sing a couple of songs. And I was like, okay, that's great. I, I, I'm excited. And I learned, I think all the <clears throat> usual suspects I learned because of the night and people have the power and a bunch of songs just to make sure I knew how to play them if she asked me to do that. And so I was there and she, she showed up and I said, and she was, she had a guitar case with her and she, and I said, Patty, I'm Jeff Tweedy. I'm playing tonight too, and I just wanted to say, I, I, I'd, I'd love to help you if, if you need me to help you in any way. But I was told that you might want some help, and she said, "Oh, great! Can you tune this for me?" So she handed me her guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And then story. she went and talked to Michael Stipe <laughs> while I tuned her guitar. <laughs> Did you play at all with her? Uh. That night? Um, I think we did end up playing, I think she sang a couple songs and then she did end up, like, they did end up saying Because the Night or something like that. And, and we, it was, Glenn and I were both there and we were like, okay, we know it. And she, she, she had us up to do that. I think that's how it happened. <laughs> so amazing. Patty did you also Smith. have to go back up in the building and get her guitar? Um, well, yeah, at the end of the night, I walked her out. Michael Stipe and I walked her out to her, <laughs> to her, her car. She had a, like a limousine or not. I don't know if it was a, it was a limousine waiting for her because I don't think she drives and I think that the charity had set something up for her to get to and from her house, whatever. So we walked her out to her car and she looked at me and she goes, where's my guitar? (laughs) 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 And I had to run back in to get her guitar. I was like, I... Like when did I? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess does she have like a personal assistant that looks like you? <laughs> <laughs> I think she. Well, she might. I mean, there's no. She might have the. Per, she might have a guitar tech that's got the same name though. Okay. I think no. I think Jeff Tweedy might have been her guitar tech for a while at one point, maybe. Well, that doesn't explain it, Jeff. Mm. <laughs> oh, you have the same name. You must look different, but be my guitar tech. <laughs> <laughs> It could be. It's possible. That was a good It's possible. But we love Patty. Patty Smith. We've had more pleasant uh, run-ins with her since then. Those were all pleasant. Yeah. They're they're funny, and I I cherish those. I cherish those encounters. Yeah. (laughs) I wouldn't have it any other way. (sighs) What did I think? Patty Smith's going to be my best friend. (laughs) (laughs) <clears throat> yeah, it was an honor. War on war. Mm. Stipe impression, please. <laughs> um, and you've done that so many times on here. He's going to get books. mad at me. I literally mm-hmm. thought that said I love her boobs, but it says I love her books. <laughs> Memories. Memories. All alone in the moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Miranda Cosgrove from School of Rock, bros. <laughs> Oh, God. Arrow's up to no good again. <clears throat> what's she... What's he, he? Just the nine million emojis in the song stuff. I, I, there's so many emojis, I can't even see what song he's asking for. <laughs> I think it's campaigner or whatever the hell that's oh, called. Oh, right. Right. Spencer Casey said that, that you always introduce her, and that's one of the first things she really liked about you. Oh, that's that makes me feel great. Aw. Um... Way to make your dad look bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because uh, what Casey and I end up talking about in those scenarios is all of the band, the rock band guys who, on the on the other side of that, who completely ignore her when we're hanging out. Like, oh yeah, Ugh, like Grody. 
like even after introducing her multiple times like not remembering her name or just introduced and then not and then don't exist Ugh. for years and years and years and years and still to this day in most social settings that your mother and I are a part of I am the one that's ignored not your mother <laughs> <laughs> and me t- me too I bring my friends over and they yeah. hang out with mom exactly <laughs> they ignore me exactly she's so much more fun to be around that's so true do you hear me arguing with you? Nope. <laughs> I do not. But I can't really um, trust you right now because you're jacked on steroids. I don't feel jacked. I feel I have a stomach <clears throat> ache. Like I probably have to make. Ooh. Um, people want to hear war. Your dad is here. <laughs> people want to hear war on war or... <sighs> I, don't I don't feel like hearing war on war. Okay. Play whatever the crunk you want. The times they are changing. This <laughs> place sun's a star. I'm just like, I'm whispering All it because right, I'm trying to remember time. it. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, that was pretty good. Ashes of American flag, nobody dies anymore. Country disappeared. Billy Eyelash. <laughs> What's a really... Oh, my God, it's 9.55. Oh, gross. dollars 63 cents a diet coca-cola on this cigarettes gives a fuck how hot and sorrowful this machine begs for luck all my lies are always wishes I know I would die if I could come back new for things a fresh wind and bright skies to enjoy my suffering a hole without a key if I break my tongue speaking of tomorrow how will it ever come No. 
of American flags and all the falling leaves filling up shopping bags Making me cry tonight. Oh, it's 9:59. Guys, if you haven't voted yet, good luck tomorrow. I hope you don't have to wait too long. Hope you feel better. Stay in line. Stay in line. Stay in line. Please, please, please. Yeah. Don't be intimidated. And we will see you Thursday. We will not be here tomorrow, but we'll be thinking of all of you, and hopefully, we will be celebrating Thursday. (laughs) That's right. Yeah. And maybe if things are looking really super fantastic and it's not too late, we'll we'll hop on here and have a little impromptu oh. dance or Ooh, jig. Ooh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. A live stream jukebox dance party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't, we don't care if we get the, the copyright notifications. <laughs> we get them anyway. <laughs> we need fireworks. Guys, it's 10. Quick little mini incarnation. Bye, everybody. started late so you could have a word <laughs> okay whatever bye bye Spencer bye dad <laughs> bye right. bye Peter say bye Jack bye everybody wait be right there dad alright bye bye <laughs> bye guys good luck tomorrow be, 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 be safe. safe be safe and be brave Yeah.